All right, so you're not looking at strategy. You are actually looking at Ryan Sieg here with 12 laps to go, leading the front of the Xfinity Series field at Texas. This just happened last weekend, Landon, and this finish was sensational. I'm back there uh, on some older tires, so this is one of the first reacts that I'm actually in the race. But he got there on speed, and now he's coming to a restart with 12 to go, trying to win his first ever Xfinity Series race. Here we go, one more time at Texas. Really good formation on the bottom. The this is like straight up probably the best race of his career and the history in the making let's see it is he gets a good jump uh all that kerfuffle you see in the back is me getting absolutely shipped to the top <laughs> on my 40 lap old tires we had a, a loose wheel earlier in the race had to burn a set of tires so we were gonna finish about seventh if it went green to the end but then these cautions happened at the end i got swamped look how rough the one is riding that tells me right there i think they're probably running some kind of coal bound right rear package potentially maybe maybe not some have that theory that that works, some don't. Uh, this place is getting really rough. One of the things that really stuck out to me this past weekend, three and four, how rough it is on the bottom. It's sort of like a series of bumps. Ooh, we have a guy on the wall here. Um, oh, that's Parker Retzloff. I saw that. Oh, there I am going by him. And then uh, up top, the second groove, oh, as Riley Herbst has an issue, there's a huge bump in the center of three and four that we hit. Oh, yes, that gets tight. Oh. Wow. That's Brandon, Brandon Jones, right? Yeah, and Riley Herbst and Cole Custer that got together. There. This kills the Fender on the 98. Yeah, and if you're Ryan Sieg right now, you're like, please no caution. Please no caution. <laughs> so He's got a 1.2 second lead. Look at this. He pretty much drove through the field to get to the lead before this caution. He did. He passed. He basically passed two cars in one corner to take the lead. He just had immense speed late. And this track just got tighter and tighter and tighter, which means you're just continuing to understeer more and more as the top groove opened up and the heat of the day sort of laid on the racetrack. And so cars that maybe were able to keep up with that or just started naturally looser in this race, it paid off massively in this last third of the race where you just wa you wanted to be 10 out of 10 looser than you started the race. Some lap times. He is driving away. So we're at seven to go. Sam Mayer's catching. He's got serious speed. If you could see timing scoring right now, you'd be noticing it. Gladly Herbst hits pit road. He's got too much damage. I think the left front went down. That gave me a spot. Thanks, Riley. <laughs> so he's over a second back. I mean, at this point in the race, uh, so are these guys on fresh tires right now? I guess we didn't really yes. cover that. So they're on sticker tires. I mean, yeah. these almost wide open through three and four. This is the fastest you're going to see the racetrack all day. Which is oh, most of these cars turn their fastest lap of the race at this yep. point, for sure. Yep. So it does seem like, that. you know, they didn't use the traction compound. They're kind of a little bit in one and two, but they didn't put fresh traction compound down on this track. Nope. It's all residual. This is all like the calm before the storm here. I know that we're just like a 200 lap race and we're still... You know, we're just teasing you with six to go. It looks like the field is spread out. But this is just a calm before the storm, before what's going to be an epic finish. And you got Justin Allgaier there in third. He was probably the, by far the best car of the weekend. He was in practice on Friday. I mean, he was in our zip code, to be honest, and dominated most of this race. But the caution that caused all these late latest restarts and allowed everyone to put new tires on and seed to drive to the front was Justin actually getting loose underneath a lapper, apparently, and uh, that's what caused the caution. So he kind of took his own dominant win away from himself. Right here, he's probably, it looks like he's catching the one, but not enough time, only four laps to go to pass both these cars, you think. It's just really tough at this track, because turn one and two, you're carrying so much speed into turn one. You know, this track catches a lot of flack uh, from everybody, and rightfully so. From me, from myself as well, I can be really frustrated with this track and the design of it, but I will say that I, I do like the asymmetrical design where you have turn three and four is high banked, really fast, wide open, and then one and two is like really flat. You're using a lot of brake into this corner. Um, it's just, it's really tough. I mean, for these Xfinity cars, they're going 190 miles an hour into turn one, and they're going into a corner that can't hold those cars, especially compared to three and four. 
It's about 150 pounds of break to 200 pounds of break into turn one. Here you see Sieg running the top lane. So that top lane, that is the top lane. It's about as high as you'd go, maybe a tick higher because it's so treacherous up there and it's super fast through three and four. I think it's like 180 some odd plus mile per hour mid speed in the center. And then down here, it's about 150 miles an hour. So to your point, two very different ends where they're running this higher lane, which is up in that residual PJ1 slash resin. Look at the run Sam Mayer is getting now. He started to yeah. light it up. Sieg was running the top at 3 and 4, but he didn't go high enough in 1 and 2 where there was a bunch of grip. And I just saw something that last lap going into turn 1 that Sieg was really chopping the entry into turn 1. And I don't know if he was, you know, protecting his entry too much, if his car is, you know, getting loose, if they pump the tires up too much and his air pressures are too high. Look at that. Once again. Oh, yeah. Really chopping the entry. Just killing and he's his speed not, into turn one. See where the right sides of the one were? Where that groove is that he had his right sides as he gets to the bottom here in the final lap. Oh, they're almost going to touch. There was, a, there was a ton of grip up there. It was like a patch. So sends it down into three here. He gets super loose, catches it right here. He should have been out into the stuff. But somehow there's enough grip. Gets this run. Side by side, they touch. And now Sieg just slams him into the wall, hoping to just hold him off. It's obviously too tight to call there. From from that view, it looked like Sieg got it. Exactly. But when they go to the photo, <laughs> <laughs> 0. 0. 0.002 of a second. And I don't know. There's some conjectures that maybe it could even be tighter just when you look at, like, where the – like, that's the transponders behind. Where the, the splitters right. cross the line, it is, it is nothing in it. It's unbelievable. I mean, this view right here, to me, it was obvious from this view that oh Mayer won it. Yeah. Yep. By just but an inch. An inch? Basically an inch. <laughs> yeah, like a, two inches maybe? I don't know. Unbelievable. So epic. Crazy. <laughs> so what epic. The Xfinity Series, hated for man. I mean, the race of his lifetime. Yeah. That does. That's a bummer, but he'll have more shots if they bring fast cars like that to the racetrack. Um, I just got to say, though, the NASCAR Xfinity Series, yes, I'm biased. Yes, I'm in it. But this is classic stock car racing, and it is the type of finish that you see from classic stock car racing right there. So 100%. if you have a react you want us to react to or view, obviously it can be as recent as just last weekend. Then let us know in the comments below what you want it to be. It doesn't have to be NASCAR. It could be any form of motorsports. It doesn't have to be a finish. It could just be a cool moment. Let us know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Peace.